When my patient has an order for a wound culture, my first step is to perform hand hygiene and put on gloves. But then I'm of course gonna remove the dressing and then I'm gonna irrigate the wound. I wanna only use normal saline. Do not use wound cleanser, do not use Dakin's, don't use anything else, just simple, basic, normal saline. So I'm going to get it with normal saline. I'm gonna use this very sterile piece of gauze to dry it. And then I'm going to prop my loose foot up on this bottle. When I get the swab, I can open this container and then I usually loosen this part up and I pull my swab out. Now I have to be very purposeful with where the swab ends up. Do not touch the surface of the skin or the table or your hand or anything else. Make sure that this is placed inside the wound on viable tissue. You're gonna press down for like five seconds because you want to push out some of that exudate. You want the wound juice <laughs> to get absorbed into the swab. So I'm gonna push down and rotate a little bit, get some of that wound juice, and then I'm going to take the cap off and very carefully put my swab in the container and close it. This then of course needs to be labeled with the patient name and date of birth and identifying factors, blah, blah, blah. But what I feel like sometimes gets missed is what this is a culture of. Where did you get this culture? So very clearly I need to put, this is a culture from my patient's right heel because oftentimes I'm culturing multiple wounds, multiple sites, multiple whatever, and I wanna make sure the lab knows and so that it's clearly documented and that the results are clear that this came from my patient's right heel.